Lift those hands and sing it one last time. And we say glorify your name. Glorify. Glorify your name. This is the prayer to our God. hands with your name father here we are again we thank you for this hand that we hold this hand that you have brought through the waters you've brought through the fire you've brought through the flood you have preserved us to this day and we bless you oh God we thank you lord that when you brought the children of israel out of egypt not only did you bring one but you brought us all out and i declare tonight that not only one shall be wealthy but we shall all be wealthy not just one to heal but we shall all walk in the healing grace of god father i thank you that the heavens are open over our head tonight and that the angels of the Lord are ascending and descending. Father, I thank you for this hand that I hold. I release strength into this hand tonight. I release life into this hand tonight. I release the anointing into this hand tonight. And I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus that we are shifting and moving from one glory to the greater glory from one level of wisdom to greater wisdom father pour out pour out pour out pour out upon us let the rain of your spirit let the rain of your glory come upon us now and we'll praise you forever we clap our hands and tell you thank you we clap our hands and give you glory we clap our hands and give you honor we clap our hands and give you praise open your mouth and tell god thank you while we yet celebrate the lord we also celebrate the lord's servant bishop david Beninock. come on give god great glory for his man servant I want to thank you for receiving us this week and receiving that which God has given us for you and for your kindnesses and for your hospitality. I command great blessings upon you and your houses in the name of Jesus. Grab your Bibles. We're going to the book of Isaiah. Isaiah 26 Isaiah 26 I'm in verse 17 and 18 Let's go Like as a that draweth near the time of her delivering is in pain and crieth out in her palms. So have we been in thy sight, O Lord. We have been with child. We have been in pain. Verse 18 once again. We have been with child. If you would help me to preach tonight and just declare it's performance time. 
Come on, say it with authority. It's performance time. You may be seated. Sound precedes manifestation. Sound. Everyone say sound. S O U N D. Sound precedes manifestation. God spoke sound and then it manifested. The Bible says, even concerning. Ezekiel, before there was rain, first he heard the sound of abundance of rain. Say sound. Sound. When the day of Pentecost had fully come, there was a sound of a rushing mighty wind. Ezekiel 37, before there was the army arising, first there was a noise. The noise was the sound of the army coming together. Someone say sound. sound. Even concerning the great catching away. First Thessalonians 4.17. There will first be the sound of the trumpet. Say sound. sound. This week there has come up before the Lord. A new sound from this house. Amen. Through your fastings and through your prayers. There is a new sound. So therefore you're about to see manifestations I declare unto you that the spirit of delay is broken I declare unto you that simply because it's been delayed does not mean it's been denied I declare to you you shall handle it I declare you shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living you shall handle what God says in the name of Jesus. I heard your bishop say earlier and be not weary in well doing for in due season you shall if you I'm here to tell you you are entering into one of your due seasons now I declare unto you glory to God that God has met your time I declare that this is a set time of the Lord's favor Oh, someone shout performance time. I told you earlier this week that you are moving from promise to performance. Many of us have been so excited about the promises of God. But I declare to you it's one thing for God to make a promise. It's another thing to perform the promise. You rejoiced over the promise. But I'm here to tell you it's time now to get your dancing shoes on. Because it's performance time. I need you to shout hallelujah. I said shout hallelujah. The Bible says in Jeremiah 33 and 1, God says, call on me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Many of times we get excited over that one verse, but I'm here to tell you there's more to the story. The Bible says in verse number 14, And there shall be a performance of the good thing that I have spoken. Someone say the good thing. Sometimes you can have so much trouble in your life, all you look for is trouble. But I am here to tell you that trouble has an expiration date. And it has come in the name of Jesus. I declare to you from this day forward because of what has God done in this house. That every time you turn around you shall bump into a blessing. Every time you turn around you shall see the hand of God. Every time you look up you shall see the provision of the Lord. You shall experience the favor of the Lord. I will lift mine eyes to the hills. For with cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord. I declare to you, your help is here. I declare that the God of heaven and earth is on your side. 
God, he's moving on your behalf. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Say performance. This is why the devil hates you. Can I tell you why the devil hates you? The devil hates you because when God made Lucifer, he spoke. Everybody say he spoke. And he was created. But that's not how God made you. Glory to God. Not only did God use his mouth, but he used his hand. When God made you, glory to God, tell your neighbor, God used his hand. For the hand of the Lord created you. And I'm here to tell you that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. The reason why the enemy hates you is because the hand of the Lord is upon you. And when the hand of the Lord is upon you, you are blessed. And when you are blessed, no one can curse you. I declare the hand of the Lord is upon you. And it will not be moved in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Isaiah said, Isaiah said, You've been pregnant. You've been in great expectation. You've been waiting. How many know God will leave you in waiting sometimes? And just like a woman who is expecting a child. Anybody know what I'm talking about? That last trimester, the last three months. When the baby is laying on your liver. And kicking your kidneys. Come on. Where are the mothers at? Let the women who have had children say amen. amen. You carry so long, you just want somebody to snatch the baby out. Your ankles are swollen. Come on. Your nose is spreading. Because of what you're carrying. Oh, you don't hear me tonight. Oh, but when your water breaks. I said, oh, when your water breaks. I declare to you tonight that some of you, you've been pregnant so long. But I declare to you that your water is breaking tonight. I declare unto you that you shall see the expectation manifested. Your expectation shall be fulfilled from God. In the name of Jesus. told you earlier it's one thing to conceive it's another thing to deliver and in between conception and delivery is process it is the process that gives you strength to deliver because you were strong enough to conceive but what you go through in the process strengthens you to deliver People lying on you is a part of the process. People, oh, I can't hear nobody now. People, people making up stories about you is a part of the process. People betraying you is a part of process. Just because I'm smiling don't mean I don't know what's going on. But what I do know, all things are working together for my good. Oh, I can't hear nobody. Tell your neighbor, even my trouble is working for my good. All things work together for the good to those who love the Lord, to them who are the call. Do I have any call people in here? Say it's working for my good. 
Me being uncomfortable is working for my good. People lying on me, working for my good. Honey, every enemy that has come against you, they must pay up. It's going to work for your good. The devil should have never bothered you. Now he has to pay seven times in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Isaiah said there's no doubt that you're pregnant. But God has waited for you to get so desperate. So hungry. Come on, just like Hannah. She got so hungry for a baby. She, she, she began to fast. She began to pray. She began to give. She began to give. She began to pray. She began to fast. She began to give. She began to fast. Oh, y'all don't hear me. What you been doing all week? Fasting? Praying? Praising? Giving? Giving? Praising? You mean to tell me you're doing all this sowing in the spirit? If this is the seed, what does the harvest look like? I declare your harvest is here. I declare this is performance time. In the name of Say, my water is breaking. Say it again, my water is breaking. Say it again, my water is breaking. God said to me, the heavens are open. The only thing that can open up heaven is worship. What did I say? Is the only thing There is no rain until heaven open. There is no blessing until. And the only thing that opens up heaven is. And there is no worship without sacrifice. Something has to cost you. I can't hear you. I said it costs you. To be a worshiper. Oh I wish I could teach on that. But the heavens. I'm here to tell you. Because of your sacrifice in worship, the heavens are open. And what would take years will take moments. Mm. I said what will take years will now take moments. If I be a servant of the Lord, if I be a servant of the Lord, I declare to you that you are moving now into the now of God. You are moving into the suddenlies of God. You are moving in the straight way of God. Shout immediately. Suddenly. Right now. In the name of Jesus. Say light. Cameras. Action. No longer will you say, God is about to bless me. You will say, He is blessing me right. Now. For the word of the Lord, Ezekiel said, shall not be prolonged any longer. Say, the word of the Lord will not be prolonged. You say, God's going to bless me before the year is out. Uh, 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 uh. He is blessing me. God is always in the now. Now faith is. Now. Now faith. Now. Say now. now. Not tomorrow. Say right now. My children are being delivered. Money is coming to me. I can't hear nobody. Let me come over here. I said money is coming to me. God is anointing me. Right now. I'm getting more wisdom. Right now. In the name of Jesus. 
Shout hallelujah. I told you on Sunday that God says, Job 20, verse 15, that everything the enemy has swallowed, hmm, your money, whatever he has swallowed, he must cough it up, Amen. spit it out. Amen. In the name of Jesus. I double dare you. I double dog dare you to give God a radical praise tonight. Because that's it, honey. Because when you praise God, you're going to give the enemy a tummy ache. And everything that he told him, he has to let it go. In the name of Jesus. I want you to shout hallelujah three times. said I have put this house in a wealthy place say I'm in a wealthy place tell your neighbor said have you been to my new place I'm in a wealthy place things grow in my life when it's not growing in nobody else's life why I have waters flowing out of me i said i have now god says what he's going to do for this house as i close tonight i'm going to release the seven fold blessing go to deuteronomy chapter 8 and let's see what's in this blessing deuteronomy 8 because someone's water, someone's water is breaking. Verse number six. I need you scholars to begin to read. Let's go. Therefore, thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God. You must honor him. Say, honor the, honor the Lord. Great reverence. Verse 7. Into a good land. A land of brooks. Of water. Of fountains. These are different types of anointings. He said, I have brought you to a place where there are springs. There are waters coming out of the hills. There are waters coming out of the depths. Say there's water all around me. Say there's life of God all around me. Now let's read the seven blessings that are in this land. Let's go. Eight. A land of wheat. And barley. And vines. And fig trees. And pomegranates. A land of oil, olive, and honey. These are the seven blessings. What is the first one? Wheat. Wheat represents revelation. You who are taking notes, and I'm going to be done. What's the first one? Wheat speaks of revelation. In other words, he removes the chaff or he removes the veil. So you can see what has always been there. Say, my eyes are anointed to see. In the name of Jesus. Now put your right hand on your head and ask God now for the spirit of revelation. Father, give us the spirit of revelation. In the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ndekete to ungu dobani sekele makupa yikia. Ulebe kanile ka ungu skamia. In the name of Jesus. Number two. Come on, help me to teach tonight. Number two. Whenever you see barley in scripture, it speaks of agreement. Say agreement. Agreement with God and also agreement with man. Say agreement. 
very important in this season you will walk in agreement even with your spouse I can't hear anybody you will walk in you you know you can be married to an adversary I didn't say enemy I said adversary you're going one way and they're going that's a whole nother class say I'm going to move in agreement number three say vines vines represents evangelism because the vines shall grow over the walls I declare to you that the spirit of evangelism shall hit this house again in the name of God will begin to give innovative ways how to reach new souls for the Lord Jesus Christ don't worry about the old souls because many of them are coming back I can't hear nobody I can't hear nobody when they see your fruitfulness when they see your gold when they see your breakthrough when they see your harvest they are running right back huh? because they're going to want the hand of the Lord to be upon them too can I teach you something right quick in the book of Revelation God says I hate the doctrine of Balaam do you know what the doctrine of Balaam is? The doctrine of Balaam is, I cannot curse you, but what I'll do, I'll get you to move from under your covering. Can you imagine being in a house with no roof? Anything could come in. And what the enemy will try to do is get you to move from under this covering of this house. But the devil is a liar. Say, I'm staying in the house. What number are we on? What's number four? Say, what, what's number three? And vines represent? Evangelism, outreach, growing over the wall, growing out. Glory to God. Number four? Victory. This speaks of apostolic covering. You are in an apostolic house. Your apostolic covering is? Bishop? David? Did he know? It speaks of apostolic covering. If you remember, when Adam sinned, what did he do? He hid behind the fig tree and hid with fig leaves. In the New Testament, Jesus, who is the last Adam, the last week before he was crucified, he was hungry and he came to the fig tree. You know the story. And when he came to the fig tree, he saw leaves and no fruit. But the fig tree is one of the few trees that has fruit first, then leaves. So when he came and saw leaves, there should have been. But it, the Bible says it was not the season. For figs. And the Bible says, and Jesus answered and said to the fig tree. Jesus did what? He just didn't say to the fig tree. He so the question is, what did the fig tree say to him? See, everything is speaking. Even if you have a dirty house, a dirty house is speaking to you. It is saying, please clean me. I can't hear anybody. Anybody have hungry children? If they get hungry, sometimes they will just stand there. They won't say anything. They will just say, mommy. Mommy. You say, what do you want? I need something. I, I, need, I need some yam. Give me something. Are, are you hearing me tonight? The fig tree said something to Jesus. Now the first Adam, when it was time for him to face his responsibility, where did he hide? And the last Adam, when it was time for him to face his responsibility, which was Calvary, 
He spoke to the fig tree and said, I'm not hiding behind you. I'm doing what God sent me to do. Apostolic covering. I don't have much time. I've got to keep moving. What's the next one? Pomegranates. Everybody say pomegranate. Pomegranate. You all know what pomegranates are? Pomegranate is a multi-faceted fruit which speaks of generational blessing. Say generational blessing. It is a blessing that is going to continue to produce for you even after you, we're gone. Say pomegranate. What's the next one? What number am I on? What's number six? Say olive oil. Say unction to function. Olive oil. The pressing. The crushing. To produce such oil. But guess what? It's worth it. You will say like David said, it was good for me that I was afflicted. It was good for me that I went through what I went through. It was good for me that I realized who was my friends and who was my friendly enemies. It was good that I went through what I went through because now I have discernment. Now I have insight. Now I have developed discernment in a greater proportion. Someone shout fresh oil. Fresh oil. You have to keep fresh oil. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes that the priest of the Lord is to always have oil upon our heads. We must stay in the presence of God that the oil will always remain upon our life. Say fresh oil. fresh oil. You don't want stale oil because stale oil attracts flies. Number seven. Someone shout the honey anointing. The honey anointing. Number seven, that is a finishing anointing. Say, I will finish everything he has put in my hands. When a bee goes from flower to flower gathering nectar, the end result of the bee is honey. Say, finishing anointing. I declare unto you, you shall finish everything that God has put in your hands. Amen. Some of you, you said, I've been waiting on God. God is saying, I'm waiting on you. You shall finish everything you start in the name of Jesus. I stop by to tell you tonight. It is performance time. You are in a new place. You have moved even if you don't know you have moved. You have shifted. I said you have shifted. In the name of Jesus. I remember. May 4th. 2010. I will never forget that day in all of my life. I was driving down the road and I went to the mall to buy Mother's Day gift and my wife called me. I said, my dear, are you all right? She said, my water just broke. She was pregnant with our twins. And I said, I will be right there. And I put my foot on the gas. And the sign said 40 miles per hour, and I was going 70. Oh, I was excited. I was scared. All at the same time, my babies are about to be born. Glory to God. I said, glory to God. Hallelujah. There are some of you, you're excited but scared at the same time. And your fear is of the unknown. But the same God who has brought you to this place. The same God who has brought you forth. He will sustain you. He will uphold you. And you will declare that if it had not been for the Lord on my side. 
Where would I? That was six o'clock in the evening. My wife said to me, you need to go to God and ask him when these babies come in. And I said to her, I, I can't use my gift like that. She said, did you hear me? You go to God. I'm ready for these babies to come on out. The water has broke. And she is in a room waiting for contractions because she had no contractions yet. And the Lord said to me, she shall have the babies 5-5 five, five, just before 6 a.m. And I said to her, the Lord has spoken to me, my dear. You will have the babies tomorrow, just before 6 a.m. She said, are you sure? I said, yes, my dear. This is the word of the Lord. 5.06 a.m. the next morning. She said, I feel something. Glory to God. My wife was in, la uh, my wife was in labor for 30 minutes. She never had pain, never had a cut, a tear, an herb, epidurum, no pain pill. And at 5.36, the first twin was coming forth and I caught the baby. Oh, I can't hear nobody. Oh, I can't hear nobody. Some of you are waiting for your prayer partners to be with you when you deliver. But I'm here to tell you even the doctor is not in the room you're going to give birth <laughs> ah, what you are carrying is about to come forth <laughs> and there's some of you you are not just carrying one promise <laughs> but you're carrying multiple promises <laughs> and you shall see <laughs> the manifestation of God <laughs> you shall see <laughs> the hand of God <laughs> in the name of Jesus Stand to your feet and begin to praise God. Come on, open your mouth and begin to praise God. Somebody is going to deliver. Somebody. This is your delivery time. Open your mouth with all of your heart. And begin to give him glory. Begin to give him honor. Begin to give him praise. Let me hear you. Let me hear you praise him. I said, let me hear you praise him. Let me hear you give him glory. Come on. This is your comeback. You're coming back stronger. You're coming back better. You're coming back wiser. Oh, come on. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rise up against you, we condemn it tonight. Oh, the man devils, uh, you are in your wealthy place. You are in a place of plenty. You are in a place of more than enough. Oh, let me hear you. You're moving from overlooked to overbooked. From austerity to notoriety. Oh, I need to hear the worshipers praise you. I need to hear Zion rejoice. Come on. Somebody needs to begin to walk around in your new wealthy place and keep praising God. Walk around your new land and your new property. Walk around what God said unto you. Walk around and give him glory. Come on and give him praise. Open your mouth and give him some more glory. Don't play a song. Don't play a song. Just give him praise. Come on, let me hear you praise him. You know the promises he made you. I want you to see it tonight. I want you to see what he said because the sound of your praise is coming before you see that manifestation come on pull it in pull it in you may be tired but press past your tiredness you feel like quitting 
but we're going beyond quitting. Come on, just a few more moments. Oh, out of your belly. Oh, shandala la bakoya da baya. Come on, tie it out of your belly. Go find seven people and tell them it's performance time. It's performance time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Put your hands together. You may be seated.